this set up, first we have to go over to magicmirror.builders and then modules. Then we're going to control F to search MMM-1 tracker. There it is. Once we're here, we're going to scroll down until we see, da, 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 da. here's an example of what it will look like. And the installation instructions is right here. So let's minimize this and let's connect to our smart mirror. So BNC viewer. Okay, now we're connected to the smart mirror. Uh, let's minimize this a bit. All right, so once we're connected to the Raspberry Pi, we're going to open up a terminal. Once you have this open, it's, got, it's asking us to clone the repository onto this directory. So let's copy this and do CD space this. Uh, once we're here, it wants us to clone um, this, this repository, so copy this code. Now the code's actually wrong. Um, it should have .git at the end. Once that's done, we're gonna navigate to that folder. We're gonna do cd mmm-1 tracker and then npn install. So this should install the packages uh, into that folder. So that should be pretty much it. Then um, once that's done, we actually have to uh, make an account on the One Tracker app. All right, so all you need to do is go to the App Store, look for One Tracker, and install that. Uh, once you have it installed, you can sign up for free. Uh, just ask for an email and password, or I'm just going to sign in. Okay, once you sign in, um, there's two main ways you can track a package. Uh, actually, three, technically. You can scan a barcode if you're sending something out with a shipping label, um, or you can add uh, packing information as far as like a tracking ID, select carrier, that should all always automatically update, and then this is just a description optional. Um, and then lastly, you can actually automatic tracking, and here's the forwarding address. So basically, you copy this forwarding address, and any emails from like Amazon, DHL, whatever, you can actually set in your Gmail um, to automatically forward those emails to this for, uh, forwarding address and it'll automatically um, add them into your packages here. But basically, yeah, these are the packages I have. Gives you information here um, on the app itself and then obviously it syncs to the mirror. So I'll show you how to set up the mirror now. Okay, once that's done, we're going to copy this code, copy, and we're going to go to our config file. So open up, a, uh, open up your folders, magic mirror, config, config.js. I like opening it with Genie. It's a little bit easier to um, format it. Let's just maximize this. Okay, so we're gonna come down here, find the last um, close bracket comma, hit enter, and paste. And here we go. Now we're just gonna reformat it here so it looks nice. Okay, good. Um, now we're gonna enter our um, user and password that we just created. So. Okay, once that's done, um, there's a few different things you can do. Um, so you can change the header. Um, this kind of just displays over um, the packages. I would just leave it at this. You can change the width of the module, animation speed. Um, this is your update interval. So this is 10 minutes. It does it in microseconds. So times 1000 is seconds, times 60 is minutes, times 10 is 10 minutes. So you can change that if you want. I probably wouldn't. It's, it's, I think 10 minutes is more than enough. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do to get this started is put in your username and password. Then we're just going to save this and we can launch it. So we're just going to do, let's see, cd, to get back to the main directory, cd magic mirror npm start. So right now I only have two packages um, currently. This one I actually submitted a claim, which is why it says exception, um, just because I had issues. That was something I sent out to San Francisco. I had a friend out there that I was sending a package to. Um, so that one, um, I'm just waiting for the claim to go through. This one, I actually have a Amazon delivery um, that's actually coming in today. So um, it'll actually tell you, like yesterday, it would say one day, as you saw in the intro. Um, and actually, I'm making the video today, so it's actually coming in today, Friday the 20th. So um, right, it tells you where it is currently and how many days till it's gonna arrive. So this will just kind of keep updating um, every 10 minutes. It'll pull from that um, 
from that UPS tracking number and it'll update it here, which I thought is pretty cool. If you, it's, um, you know, it's almost Christmas. I'm gonna probably be ordering a lot more things on Amazon and whatnot. Um, and so it's nice kind of just to see where all your packages are on your mirror every day when you wake up. So, uh, but that's pretty much it. You can change where it is on the mirror and whatnot, but this is definitely gonna be a super useful um, module uh, come, you know, Christmas, any anytime you're buying presents or, I mean, if you shop on Amazon as much as I do, um, in general, it's it's going to be useful. So uh, I definitely recommend this module. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, really simple to install and really simple to set up. <laughs>